Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Kevin, and I managed to not say good morning or good afternoon this time. I'm always very much grounded in my time zone in my introductions, and so I'll say good morning, and then I'll stumble into good afternoon, good evening, and good night, like I'm some sort of radio show host from the 50s. Anyway, <laughs> this is another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast, and today I have with me Maggie Karshner. I'll read a little quick bio, we can get into it. Maggie is a self-employment coach based in Seattle, Washington. She's widely versed in all things relevant to self-employment, organization, structure, financials, management, marketing, promotion. In my head, I have this tune. These are a few of her favorite things. (laughs) I might be getting a little bit too far ahead into the Christmas season, but you get what I'm saying. She's got a lot of interest and a lot of experience. She loves working with independent thinkers who want to create an awesome job for themselves. Maggie, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Yeah, thanks for for singing me a little intro. That was lovely. (laughs) Just trying to get in the spirit of things, I guess. Yeah. Um, It is almost October after all, or maybe it is October by the time you're listening to this. Mm. All right, let us begin at the beginning. Uh, Maggie, how did you get into the coaching business? What prompted you to start your own coaching practice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was on a a journey of personal self-discovery and I had ended up with like the dream job. I was a management consultant and I realized that while this, you know, relied beautifully heavily on my, my, my sort of critique and eye for business and ability to sort of offer value, it was like steering an ocean liner and it just took so long, you know, they're like, oh, well, next quarter at the meeting, we'll talk about it. And then maybe, you know, like in two years and I'm like getting gray hairs, just thinking about it. (laughs) So, you know, I sort of got into that line of work and I was like, "Mm, mm, I'm going the wrong direction. Something's wrong here. And I'd been coaching friends on the side, just like for fun, sort of as a hobby. And, (laughs) and I was like, you know, if I could just have a business where all I did was that, like my job was just to work with people, cool, cool, creative people who are starting their own things, just trying to make a living at it. And I could offer some value and help them see new ways of operating their business and improve their sanity and, and, you know, productivity in their work. That would make me really thrilled. And, you know, you can turn on a dime with that kind of line of work. You know, I can come in and say, Hey, you know, I noticed this thing and the client can be like, Oh gosh, yes. Okay, great. And then all of a sudden it's taken care of. And I'm like, this is the speed I like. (laughs) So that's what I do now. It's so powerful. And yeah, that frustration with the, the slowness of change at the corporate scale, that's, that's a big driver for a lot of coaches I've talked to. A secondary driver though, because like with you, just that desire to help, just that overwhelming urge, like I want to be helpful. I want to, I want to be able to say, hey, what about this? And just see that light like turn on in someone's eyes and then have the light turn on in their business. It's just, it's pretty magical. Yeah. It's so good. It's so great. Yeah. (laughs) What would you say, and this question can go any number of places, but what would you say that you're doing in your coaching practice right now that is unique or at the very least a differentiator for you, something that it's very special to your practice? Yeah. Yeah. So in the last year I've pioneered my, and really pushed forward my group coaching offering. Hmm. And I don't, I haven't seen a lot of other coaches do this in quite the same way. I know there's a lot of like masterminds out there and like group coaching coaching programs where that's like a set curriculum and I'm really doing something different in that it's more like one-on-one coaching where you like you bring your problems and then somebody consults on them but in a group format Hmm. so there is not a set curriculum I develop like something we're going to talk about each week so there's some planning on my side but it is often fresh each week and it's it's and it's really tailored to whoever's showing up so if you know, if people are concerned about A, B, C, and D, that's what I'm going to be talking about. And I'm going to design that around what's going on for them. So you get like this benefit of one-on-one coaching, but like sort of an affordability of doing it in a group, as well as like this richness of having peers, because I hear that a lot with self-employment. Nobody has people like them. And then it's like, oh no, you do have people like you. And they're having the same thoughts and concerns, or you're having the thought and concern that they should be having. And so then I get to talk about that <laughs> and, and we all get to learn together in it. And, and it, I'm really loving it. That's really lovely. It's, it is that, it really is that hard middle road, or I should say a sweet spot to capture where it's like a lot of the, a lot of people who start their own businesses, I mean, they're natural, they're self-starters. They're kind of, they've decided that there's a path that they want to walk down. And that's, that decision in and of itself is a very individual and sometimes lonely decision where you're just like, you kind of feel like you're the only person who gets where you want to go. 
and just being able to be in the same room digitally or, you know, in, in, you know, whenever we can get back together again in, in quote unquote real life, it just reminds you and gives you the chance to be exposed to people who have made the same kind of decision. So you get yeah. that sense of community that I'll, I, I imagine a lot of entrepreneurs are missing. Oh yeah. No, a lot. <laughs> That's been like a recurring theme in the group is like, is like, Oh, we need more community. And I'm like, great. I'm not the the barrier here, guys, <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> I'm a facilitator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so funny. I just actually very recently watched the an, an old Saturday Night Live skit, the coffee talk skit, where it's like talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> so now yep. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be laughing about that to myself all day. So thank you for that little gift. <laughs> no problem. I do what I can. <laughs> uh, well, that's fantastic. I'm curious. Obviously, it's been quite a year and a half plus for a lot of people, and a lot of especially coaching businesses have not only like survived, but thrived in this time for many obvious reasons. And so I'm curious what's coming up for you the next like six months, 12 months, 18 months, like what's on the horizon, just continuing to grow and expand the things that you're doing now, or do you have something new on the horizon? Don't tell me you're writing a book. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> I was totally kidding. I didn't mean to put yeah. you on the spot there. <laughs> no, I mean, I figure it's in my future at some point. It's one of those things that's just bound to happen, right? No, I... <laughs> So I've been working on, like, I've been guesting a lot of podcasts that sort of been my present marketing effort. Um, and I know I'll have another one, but you're actually catching me at a weird time where like, I've been doing a sprint and this is recovery time. This is the time where I'm like, okay, what's working? What's not, where, where, do, where am I feeling inspired? What's my next project going to be? And I'm probably going to be in that for know, maybe about three months before something catches my fancy. And then I'll dive into that thing. So I can't I really that. tell you. <laughs> no, that's that's perfect. You did just tell me that's that's a natural, and that's something that so many so many of us overlook. Like especially pe those of us who are in in or around the coaching business, there's this urge to go 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 to keep growing and innovating and changing and and connecting. It's quite frankly, it's got its own momentum. But there's a natural rest period built into all of that, and I feel like if you don't take advantage of that, you're missing out on maybe some of the best opportunities of your life yeah. by not just you know. Taking, taking a step back and being like, and I'm taking a step back, just stopping for a moment, looking around and being like, all right, that was quite the sprint. I'm going to catch my breath. I'm going to, I'm going to carb load maybe, and then I'll get ready for the next run. <laughs> I'm always here for carb loading. <laughs> I don't marathon or anything. I just do the carb loading. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. You know, I'm, I'm not, it's not even like a, a pensive waiting. It's just sort of like a, yeah, let's, let's reset and take a minute and you know, it isn't about working yourself to death, right? It's about enjoying the journey. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> couldn't have, couldn't have picked a better note to end this short little podcast on. Maggie, thank you so much for being here, yeah. short and sweet. And yeah, where can people find you online? Where can people, while you're resting and waiting, where can they connect with you? Social media, anywhere that you prefer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the easiest place is probably just my website, maggiekarshner.com. But I am probably on your favorite social media Unless it's TikTok, because I just haven't figured out TikTok yet. Sorry. Maybe that's coming in the future. Maybe that's down the road. <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll be the next project. Who knows? <laughs> well, Maggie, thank you so much for being here. To the audience, thank you so much for listening. And we will talk to you soon.